Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Time to throw some shine on the Navy women's tennis program with head coach Keith Perrier. And a look at the numbers this week. And as long as you've been coaching this game on the men's and women's side, both. Chance to get win number 600. And in terms of a coach, what does that mean to you? Because in the sport of tennis, it also means you've had a chance to coach an awful lot of young people and affect a lot of young people's lives. To be around and to do it that successfully, what does that what does that mean to you to have that opportunity? I'm old. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it means I've been in the game for quite for quite some time, and I, I've really had an opportunity to work with some players. Um, as much as you you, you said, I, I've impacted their lives; they've impacted mine. And so I've been blessed to have a chance to coach some very talented, very smart uh, young men and young women at my old school. I coached both teams, and uh, they truly have brought um, just joy to my life and given me an opportunity to do something that I love to do and to be successful at it. They they really just bled, you know, bled and, and sweated to make sure that they represented the universities both here and at UMBC in a way that was always positive and um, I think that's that's really the reflection on those ones. Because what we were just talking about, you know, off off camera here is with every player that you have coached, that's a different human being. Every player is so different. Through the years, how difficult is it to handle all of the different uh, as athletes, abilities, attitudes? How does a coach keep his sanity in terms of <laughs> trying to deal with as many different players as you've had to deal yeah. with through the years? Yeah, it's definitely a, a huge challenge, but you have to, as a coach, my philosophy always has been you really don't coach the game, you coach the player, you coach the individual, and each one of them is different, each one of them is going to bring different challenges, and that's, I think that's the beauty of it, the beauty of coaching, uh, and especially with tennis being an individual sport, but yet college tennis being having a team dynamic, Sure. Um, you know, that's always, that's always challenging, uh, but that's what's, it, it really helps keep me young, because it keeps me on my toes, you know, kids are changing, you know, as, uh, you know, as the world changes, and and uh, I don't coach the same way I did, you know, 10 years ago. You know, it would be impossible to have success if I, if I was doing it. And so I think that's always, as a coach, I think you're always trying to reinvent yourself um, and make sure that you're able to, you know, do the best you can for your student athletes. You, you guys earlier this year, I mean, BU has, since their entrance into the league, they brought a quality to the league. And you guys were right there with them. You had them on the ropes. You only lost 4-3 uh, in that match. But... You've got a, a nice mix of, of, of older and younger players. You've got a lot of younger players that have mm -hmm. really stepped up uh, on the court here for you. Just take us briefly through the season so far and, and what you've gotten, and, and has it gone uh, the way you had hoped or maybe even gone a little bit better than you'd hoped? Yeah. Well, you always want to win every match <laughs> as a coach, but just knowing we were going to have some matches in there that were going to be challenged matches um, or challenging matches, and what we tried to do this year was we really we have so much depth is we tried to give everybody a chance to compete, to get a, a really gauge in terms of where they stood um, and what was truly our best lineup at any given time. And early in the season, I think we took, we took some losses. Uh, we had uh, one weekend where we played two matches. We played Delaware and we played uh, George Washington in the same day. And the previous year, those were standalone matches. Right. This year, we played them both the same day and we split our forces. Um, we ended up losing both matches, but matches like that I think were invaluable in terms of giving our younger players some experience, having them play maybe in a, a higher position than maybe they would um, later on in the year and really challenging them. And I think we're seeing the results of it now at the end of the year where everybody's clicking on all cylinders. We had two players that, um, two walk-over walk-ons actually helped to win two matches for us uh, playing doubles. They, they clinched the doubles point for us and one of the matches ended up being 4-3, the other one ended up being 5-2. Um, and so I think that is sort of indicative of just the challenges that we gave them early in the year uh, and them being able now to step up. When we is is that something too within the, the team dynamic that we talk about where as you say, with, with two walk-ons who, and, and kind of gives the entire team a, a little bit of a lift in that situation, kind of lifts everybody up when they see uh, a couple of walk-ons who go mm -hmm. out and, and, and do a, a job for you within mm -hmm. the team concept like that? Yes, indeed. I tell them every single season when we start, each and every one of you is going to play a role in our success. And everybody counts. And I think that just really goes to show that when those two individuals have a chance to step up and win a match for the team, they work extremely hard 
and they have very, very good players. Uh, it, but it's just, it just gives, gives an idea of just the depth that we have. High quality match coming up uh, with Army. There's a lot mm -hmm. of quality out there, and you know, for for your team, you got over that proverbial hump. You got a nice win in the postseason against them last year. Mm -hmm. Now that you've you've conquered that, how do you how are you guys going into this matchup uh, with a, a Black Knights team that, like you, has some young players mm -hmm. themselves uh, this year? How do you see this match shaping up? It's always challenging. Uh, you go up there, especially when you go up to West Point. Uh, they have extremely good fan support, and uh, if the weather holds as as predicted, we'll probably be indoors, and so it's very, very loud. So it's going to be really, really important that we keep our bearing. I mean, that's going to be one of the keys, um, and just sort of deal with just the whole dynamics of the whole Army Navy. Sure. Um, 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 you can't battle. separate it, can you? Yeah, no, you cannot. And as a coach, you really have to accept it and have the kids accept it. And then what it comes down to, who just does the best in terms of just dealing with everything and brings their best that particular day. And so that's what we're looking at. That's what we're looking to do. I was going to say, what would it mean to get number 600 against the Black Knights? Yeah, that would be, uh, <laughs> <laughs> that, would, that, would, that would be special. Yeah, it really, no it really doubt. Be. All right, best of luck this weekend uh, with you. you and your team as you guys uh, attempt to get the star and possibly wrap up the star competition for the year if the mids can get a victory. Keith Perrier joining us here on the Navy Sports Magazine.